Random Password Generator. Yes, you can create your personal password generator app. Yes, an app using Python. But how many lines of code? 100? Um, kind of, but 20. As we are making an app, so it takes uh, 10 lines, more than 10 lines. So 20 lines of code. And how the requirements? Python and two Python libraries, random and T K I N T R. It's a GUI tool for Python, and you will understand it. If you don't have T K I N T R, so you can install it by going to command prompt and typing pip install T K I N T R, and it would look like this. So I hope you will enjoy this video. But how the program works? You need to select letters, punctuations, digits symbol number for your password password will be generated using random function it's an inbuilt function in python i hope you know about that and a window will open along with a button as you have shown in the video and output will be shown in a new window source code first we'll import random tkinter and string i hope you know what the star means from tinker import star means import everything tinker have in the next command we just define a function in python which is generate password and password is a list and for i in range 2 it will create a password with two of each letters punctuations and digits and finally we'll append that to the password y equals to our join string and we're just joining the strings here and root dot tk tk means whenever you see tk it means we are creating a button or something graphical user interface so as it's a gui tool and button we are creating button there and root text and the text of the button will be generate password you can change it if you want and you can just change it as play with this uh, as as long as you want so root but um, dot main loop and it will create the main loop. so let's see the demo you will understand better there so we have the source code in a folder just click on it and as soon as we do that a new window is opening says generate password we click on it and it gives a password and we can clicking on it whole day and it will generate a different password and it will be really difficult to copy. Now let's talk about contributing. Any kind of contribution to QX Research, even to on random password generator are welcome. To do so, you need to fork the repository, create your feature branch, commit your changes, push to the branch, and open a pull request. It's that simple. And you can be an officially member of QX Research by joining Mozilla group, joining Telegram group, both the links in the description, and start development and research with QX Research.